rally hey guys rally against mandatory vaccines in north carolina right on let's go this is cbs 17. Rally concerns tonight from some in North Carolina that they will be forced to get vaccinated. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Carter. I'm Angela Taylor. Some of the people concerned packed the lawn of the legislative building today, demanding support of a bill that offers protection for people who don't want to get the vaccine. CBS 17's Jamise Price heard their concerns today and shares why they are backing this bill. Jamise. This demonstration lasted all day. This lawn just outside the legislative building, it was packed with a few hundred folks who, for the most part, want to make sure they are not required by the government, a business, or their job to get a vaccine or show proof they received it. The message, loud and clear, their body, their choice. A message they're calling medical freedom. This group doesn't want the COVID-19 vaccine and doesn't want to be required to get it. At this time, it's not a requirement by the state. In HB 558, a proposed bill would prohibit it from ever happening. Well, this is more about protecting our bodies, protecting our freedom. Jenny Kay was one of a few hundred people who rallied for support of HB 558 on the lawn of the General Assembly. The bill prohibits the governor from requiring or mandating that everyone receives a vaccine through an executive order. It would also give civil and criminal immunity to anybody who refuses to receive a COVID-19 vaccination. Whether they are doing it or not, this is so that it's not possible at all. I don't know. Protecting our freedom, that's, that's just it. The bill also bans businesses from requiring a person to disclose whether or not they received a COVID-19 vaccine to enter their facility. So it's going to put people that just want to live their lives, be left alone in a situation where they have to take a, an injection of foreign material into their body in order to just live their lives. Now this bill, if it becomes law, will add some extra protection in the workplace. It would prohibit an employer from hiring or firing someone based on their vaccination history. Now this bill is all about choice and is ironic because it's going to limit the choices that a business would have. Live in Raleigh, Jimmy Price, CBS 17. Yes, yes, yes. Just wanted to show you guys. And I applaud Raleigh, North Carolina. And yes, it's nice to know that it is our body and it is our choice.